Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family grocery haul and meal plan for a family of five. I've been to Aldi this week because it's local to me and also it's nice and cheap at the moment and we've got a really big shop here. I've got a few extras as well, but if you would like to see what I've bought then by all means keep watching. So before I get any further, I hope you're all doing safe and well, I hope you're all okay. Um, if you're new to these videos, I'm Charlotte, I live in the UK, near to Manchester. I am 32 now and I'm a mum to three kids. So we've got a family of five, I've bought quite a lot, we're trying to do one big shop a week and trying to stay away from the shops otherwise because we're on lockdown at the moment in the UK. And yeah, I've done a nice big shop. The Aldi near to me wasn't too busy at all, I only queued for about 10 minutes and social distancing was spot on which was nice because I do get a little bit anxious. I always take my pound coin, well I leave a pound coin and a hand gel in the car ready every time so I can do it safely. But I'm going to show you what I bought. I am filming today in our living room because they are banging away a lot outside at the back of the house at the moment um our build is for our extension and it's very very noisy so i thought i'm gonna do it in here because otherwise i'll be stopping and starting it'll probably take me about an hour so without any further ado let's get started so i'm gonna start over here with my frozen bits because then um, once i've done all of this lot i'll go and put these away first we got some more of the chicken burgers these are frozen they are chicken thighs and they've been coated you can get three different types so we've got buttermilk for the kids and southern fried for us but they also do a hot and spicy as well but there were none left so i couldn't try those today but these are just incredible and we got them last time as i mentioned and i thought i would have them again because they went down really well we also got some french fries we have some ice cream so the unicorn cones these were only just over a pound i think it was maybe, well maybe closer to two maybe like one pound 70 or something and then these are new and they are mini viennese ice cream Creams, there's strawberry, there was also mint and vanilla but I got strawberry because I think the kids will like these the best. Then over here is a load of random bits and bobs that I won't necessarily buy at every shop or never at all but I thought I would give them a go. So I have some kitchen mould because we're running low and I find that handy for spillages and things like that. I got some of these egg cups, we've got a couple of sets of these already and the kids love them, they come with little mini spoons and there are loads of different animals as you can see along the bottom like cats, pigs, chicks unicorns cows we've got the chicks and the cows and it's all these and the reason why i got them is because we've got like four at the moment but there's five of us and they were actually reduced to clear so i got them for about one pound 99 which i thought was quite good got myself some little roses for 1.99 again because they make me smile this was 3 99 and I thought it would be a nice little one to do together with the kids. Um, it's ages 3 to 7, stands 2 and Bill's coming up to 8 but I feel like we can make it work. And for 3 99 I just thought I'll grab it because it's an extra thing to do like activity wise with them. I've got some of these. These are new and they're Aldi's version of like better dishwash tablets if you know what I mean um, so like the lemon ones like the fairy ones the packaging is really similar but they were a lot cheaper and I thought I would give them a go then for me I got two bits here the hot cloth cleanser this is meant to be like a dupe of the Lizzle I've used it before and I am actually running low and I just thought you know what even though my skin is a bit up and down at the moment I'm just going to try this because I did get on with it last time and then I also got the uh, Jeep of the Pixie Glow tonic um, I actually thought that my skin preferred this one to the Pixie one and I was really pleased to see it I think they're around the 3 dollars mark each so yeah wouldn't normally get them but I picked them up this time got some alcohol free mouthwash carpet fresh it was the last one and i'm enjoying cleaning my house still because we're always in it so i thought i would pick one up and then i would never normally get like my shampoo and conditioner from the supermarket i'm more likely to get it from like boots and stuff and buy it myself specifically for my hair and what it needs at the time um but we have run out and i didn't really fancy going anywhere else at the moment so i just got this because it's the dupes of the aussie shampoo and conditioner from aldi and i've heard that they're quite good so hopefully they will do my hair well for the meantime back here is drink two slimline tonic waters and two soda waters got the prosecco we've got this wine again which i love and my well like my brother's girlfriend i call her like my sister-in-law but none of us are married yet but she's been in my life for years now and i love her she loves this as well and um, it's really really nice like ice cold out in the garden if you can and i can really recommend that one it's 5.99 um apple juice Coke Zero, we didn't need anything else so that's all I've got for drinks for now. 
and then we have two packs of wraps one is for like a main meal the other is for like lunches got some of these which are barbecue flat buns uh, with a hint of chipotle chili i just thought they sounded nice and would be quite useful for like lunches and things like that got a cheese and red onion for catcher that is new as well a lot of these things are new <laughs> um we got some sliced brioche burger buns to have with those frozen chicken thigh burgers a sunblush tomato pizza bread and some scotch pancakes so that's all the bread we needed we get some bread and milk and eggs from our milkman so i didn't get anything else um even though like that looks like loads but it won't even take us long at all to eat all of that um over here is like store cupboard so i got some tortelloni tortellini that that is spelled wrong surely anyway i got some tortellini and this cheese and tomato and you can just keep it in the cupboard and i just thought as a backup meal that's really really handy so i've got that got some pasta which is like there is so much stuff that everything that was hard to find is now i have no trouble finding it where i live at all apart from flour flour can be annoying sometimes but i got some of that i got two packs of these couscous because i thought they would be handy for like lunches and stuff i was going to get a big bag of couscous but we we don't have loads of space in the kitchen as it is and um i just thought these would be more convenient so i picked them up and then i got a sea salt grinder because we're running low on salt then i got two packs of the long grain rice because i thought it would be easier mango chutney two tins of cannellini beans two tins of red kidney beans some turmeric some ground ginger like Nespresso pod type things, stop pots and some garlic olive oil because I am obsessed with this, it's really nice. Then over here is meat really to be honest and a bit of dairy so I got some smoked pancetta, chicken satay and pork sausages like cocktail sausages for the kids. Um, the meaty pepperoni knockoffs are also for the kids, they love them. Bacon, um, salami, ham. I really like the specially selected range from Aldi when it comes to ham. Kim prawns for Mark because he loves them. Pork and lean sausages. <laughs> this made me chuckle. For some reason, they put stickers on all of the sausages like, I'm the skinny one and I'm the herby one, but the leaky one made me laugh. Um, anyway, two packs of tempura chicken mini fillets. These are amazing and I'm actually going to use them to make homemade sweet and sour chicken because um, I don't have to then worry about battering anything and it'll be quite quick and easy to do. I had to get two packs though because one would never ever go between our family. Um, then I've got some Nord pack which is low pack knockoff. Uh, pub pastry, it's always handy to have in for like pastry pinwheels or like doing like a tart or something. Olives, our whole family loves olives. These are chimichurri Spanish olives, red pepper hummus, a huge pack of lean beef mints. I'm going to split this between two meals, so I'm going to make a chilli with it with loads of extra pulses and veg. And then also something called baboti, which is a lovely like south african dish i think it is um then i have some extra mature cheddar and that is all of that so i'm going to go and quickly put this away and then i will show you the fruit and veg so all the last stuff is fruit and veg and snacks which obviously is a very important part of any shop so fruit wise we have a pineapple bananas melon pink kids these are like little pink lady apples but mini ones big strawberries grapes and two packs of blueberries then we have flat leaf parsley coriander we've got garlic avocados chilies what are these called celery <laughs> british leeks spring greens carrots asparagus wild racket tomatoes two cucumbers a packet of peppers which were all really tiny by the way that they were like the only disappointing thing really uh lettuce and broccoli then i've got some british red potatoes these are like a good all-rounder and then some onions which are huge and then snack wise because my children don't stop eating um i got this massive pack of family crisps so six monster claws six cheese puffs and six bacon rashes got some tortilla chips sea salt and lime because they're really nice they're more for me and mark then kiddie snacks really here are from our spray the Easter Bunny Lollies were reduced to 19p for a pack of 10 and my kids won't care that it's Easter or not so I got two packs of them because I thought for 40p for 20 lollies that is brilliant and I can like keep those now and you know use them as snacks and whatever rewards for when we have good behaviour. Then we have these, they're like um, 
the same as the Kinder version, which my kids love, but they're like Aldi's version. You get 11 sticks in a pack, and these are the strawberry yogurt ones and the cookie and milk ones. Baby Bell, rice cakes covered in yogurt. They really, really like the Snacker Jacks, the caramel ones, but um, obviously you can't get them at Aldi, so I went for these instead. Chocolate chip brioche, two packs of these fruit zone ones because they're those, those like fruit strings but a lot cheaper at Aldi so I've got two of those. Chocolate flavoured beans for it'd be genie baking like cookies and stuff thought they would be handy to have in. Then I got a bag of Haribo Super Mini Mix because these are great again because you can like separate them out and stuff and use them for snacks and things like that because we do the whole snack box thing and they're just handy to have. And then for Mark and I, I got the mousse au chocolat, the orange one, which is really nice. And I finally found the salted pretzel again. They've changed the packaging. So we got those as well, and that's for us. And then that is everything. So now quickly on to the meal plan. So I always do this on notes, and I use the notes app as well to make my shopping list because it's really handy, and it goes from my computer to my phone and back again. So it's all up to date. I can also send it Mark as well, which is good. Wednesday, which is today, we're going to have a carbonara with garlic bread and I like to put like rocket with a bit of balsamic glaze on the side as well. Thursday, we're going to have a Spanish tortilla with salad, olives and like meats and hummus and veg and that kind of thing. Friday, I'm going to make chili con carne with rice. I'll, obviously, I've got like kidney beans in, but if I can see anything else that I can chuck in from the cupboards, like sweet corn or chickpeas or anything like that, then I will do. Then Saturday, I'm going to make baboti, which I mentioned before. It is such a nice dish. I first had it when my mum and dad cooked it, and I don't know if the recipe is particularly authentic, but I think mum and dad found it in a co op magazine. So my mum sent it me, so I'll try and like screenshot it here or something so you can see so if you want to make that yourself then pause the video now and take a screenshot and zoom in or something and then um you can make it too and then on sunday i'm going to do chicken burgers with wedges and salad or chips and salad depends whether or not i can be bothered to make the wedges um monday we're going to have homemade sweet and sour chicken with those tempura chicken like strips that i showed you before Tuesday we're going to have falafel wraps. I've got some falafels that I have in the freezer from The Good Life, I think the brand is. They're really nice. I've had them, like, they're from Tesco, but they've been in there for ages. So I'm going to have those and use those up to get a bit of freezer space back. And I'm going to make some herby potatoes with, like, salad as well with those. Then on Wednesday, I'm going to try that Jamie Oliver minestrone with my no need bread recipe. Um, my no need bread recipe is on my blog, so I'll leave that link down below. Um, but I just thought the soup sounded really nice, and I feel like it's one that my kids will eat as well. It's a really good way to get like loads of like, nutrients into us um, when we're feeling a bit sluggish. And then on Thursday, I'm going to make sausage pasta with garlic bread and this is a recipe that i saw on the tesco website and i kind of adapted to suit our family but it's really really yummy and we really liked it and it goes quite a long way as well so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine meals um so hopefully we won't need to go to the shop anytime soon um and fingers crossed that will do um in terms of cost i have my receipt here sorry if it keeps going out of focus i think it's because it's a bit dark in it um it was 140 pounds which was a lot um but we did get a few extras i mean i think that we've got nine meals there plus loads of snacks plus what we're all eating in the house now and there's no like eating at nursery or Mark eating out when he's at work and stuff I feel like it's okay and we're probably saving money in the long run but it's just like hard to go to the shop and spend that much all in one go I also do feel like the shops are more expensive somehow at the moment I don't know if it's just because we're buying more but yeah anyway so that was that was quite a hit but like I said it's for nine days and really that's not too bad considering we got washing tablets and a game and some egg cups and hair stuff so yeah but I hope you enjoyed this video stay safe stay well keep positive I know it's hard I get tearful most days to be honest but um we're gonna get through this and um hopefully I will see you all very very soon bye